Hi. Maybe you're on the side of the road you want to uh, change the flat on your F-150, so I'll make this really fast. First of all, you got to get the jack out. It's in the back seat. You're going to have to flip the seat down. And then there's some Velcro straps in here that are kind of annoying. Take the Velcro out. There's three of them. I've only got one. You got to slide the jack sideways and then up, and it still doesn't like to come up sometimes. Okay, the jack locks in pins. That's why you have to slide it. So you stick it through and slide to lock. I'm not going to use the jack right now, but I'm going to get the spare down. So the first thing you're going to have to do is get the tools out. And you need not all of them, but we'll get them all out. You don't need the one with the hook. Put these together. Then come around to the back of the car. There's a little panel you have to get to. You have to get your key out to get to it. Squeeze your keys, pull this out. Stick this in, twist it, pull it out. Now, one key thing, you're gonna have to stick this through a hole and there's a funnel-like device. So what you don't wanna do is go in straight like this. So that's not where it is, it's toward the center of the car. If you feel this bumping on the tire, it means you need to get up higher. So you're gonna twist it sideways. Then it kind of goes in, but you see the angle it's in. Then you just put this on, and you twist it, and down comes the spare. The biggest mistake I was making is trying to shove it in straight. If you look through there, you can actually see where the funnel is. Sometimes it's kind of hard when you're on the side of the road and it's dark and you don't have a flashlight. Let this down all the way. Once it touches, keep going because you need to let out extra cable to get the tire out. So give yourself plenty of room. Might as well leave this in in case I have to do it some more. Then I'm gonna get up under here. And this part's a little bit hard because this thing has to go through here sideways. So, hmm. It's much easier on the spare than this one because this doesn't have as many holes. Uh, I'm gonna have a tough time with this. I'm gonna let it down some more. That's why I left this in. Now I can pull this out perhaps a little bit tip this up now you can see how this thing has to come through sideways that's it it's out now so I actually have a flat and I'm getting this down to get it fixed but I figured I'd make a quick video to help you if you're on the side of the road thank you